Hey guys, uh, I've just finished the review video on the F1 carbon tracks and I thought I'd do a quick one on the Cabrina H1 foot straps as well, purely because, you know, there are a couple of things I like, really like about them, a couple of things I'm not a huge fan of, and I thought I'd just share it and hopefully this can help someone else out there as well. So firstly, the main aspect is the, the price and the durability. I honestly don't think you'll be able to find anything that really comes close to the durability of these at the price that you're paying. Very simple and robust design. So single single foam unit at the bottom um, with a with a plastic you know connector to to the actual board, and then the strap just fits over there, and you obviously screw that in on either side. You got a pretty durable plastic piece there with with three settings, um, obviously to to change your your duck. What I really like about this super adjustable. Got this, you know, very simple Velcro strap on the top. Pull that off, set it to to however you like it, um, and then with the duck, obviously you can just. Well, the so the duck is the the angle of your foot straps. So how they, you know, if they're more straight, more more, it's called more ducked. You've just got three settings. So that's something I like and something I don't like as well. Limiting the amount of settings kind of does give you a little bit less, you know, options to to test. Um, but it does make it a lot more a lot more robust and a lot more durable. One thing I'm not a huge fan of with regards to this duck setting system is, for example, here where I've got it on on the outside setting. Especially when you when you have a hard crash, it de generally tends to pull up out of. You can't really see it there. I'll take a, another video outside, but it generally tends to pull up. You know, tends to move around a bit, and what that causes is your screws and your foot straps come undone, which is which is pretty annoying. I'll be perfectly honest. But what I've done is I've just used a bit of Loctite, and you and you just just screw your screw in there with a bit of Loctite and that, that locks that screw into place. And if you want to obviously pull that screw out, just unscrew it, more than fine. But yeah, because it's moving around like that, it unscrews your screw um, and that, that can be a bit annoying. But with regards to the, the foam base, super comfortable, super, super comfortable, um, super grippy as well. Lots of room for your for your feet to move around with that super adjustable strap as well. I, I really like these because you can you can make them really, really loose and your foot doesn't push through through the strap. So for, for one footers, and I'm trying to learn the board off as well now, super easy to get on and off without you know it flopping around and stuff like that, and without your foot pushing through the front of the strap when they when they're very loose. And I think that. That's pretty much everything. So just to quickly highlight main things I like, super durable, the price is there, very comfy, does the job, your foot doesn't slide through, easily adjustable on the top, super comfortable mesh, or I don't even know what this is, some sort of foamy kind of stuff. Super durable and super comfortable. The only thing I don't like is you not not super adjustable, the settings that they give you, but this whole system is extremely durable and, and won't crack out on you. Just the only thing I don't like when you've got your setting on one of the sides, it does tend to pull up um, on the side that, that isn't screwed in, and that does tend to unscrew your foot scrap sorry, your foot strap screws. So you're gonna to need to use a bit of Loctite in there to lock those lock those screws in. But besides that, fantastic straps, definitely recommend them. And yeah, hopefully that helps someone else out there and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.